my name is Ulugbek Nishanov, and um, shortly you can call me back. I'm 47 years old and uh, came from St. Louis, Missouri, in the United States. I had a diabetes type 2 for, could be longer than uh, 16 years because uh, by 2003, I was at my doctor's and my doctor decided uh, that he wanted, she wanted to, um, to run some analysis of my uh, you know, sugar in my blood. And um, it turned out that I have some tendency of developing this type of uh, diabetes. And we started, uh, she, pres she prescribed me a couple of uh, medications. There was only one or two at the time. But over the time, it was adding and the dosage was going up higher and everything. So the situation was getting worse and worse year by year. And I was noticing at the very beginning, and I didn't even know, you know, what diabetes uh, at that time, and I wasn't taking that seriously. But over the time, I started to feel depression, you know, sogginess, and uh, desire always to have rest, and never got enough. Um, didn't want to work, you know. The entire, entire situation was so bad that, uh, you know, I've lost interest um, in everything. I decided to start researching what could be done in this matter. To improve the situation. The only thing the doctors were doing basically were uh, prescribing me uh, medications. The worst case scenario, of course, insulin, but I've never injected the insulin. And with my, uh, the lightest version of diabetes 2, I was spending about $140 on the medications on a monthly basis. Um, like I said, you know, at the very beginning, uh, when we figured out that I have some tendency or even uh, diabetes type 2, uh, I started with a one or two medications, but before the surgery I was taking about five or six of them and the dosage was very high of course and I was very getting, I, I, get, I was getting very close to be, um, to be a, uh, one of those people who was injecting uh, the insulin on a daily basis, twice a day or something and uh, it, it meant that uh, everything was bad enough. And I, I decided to do some research. I found this place. Even though it took me about almost two years that I made up my mind to, to decide to do this surgery, um, there were personal circumstances that had pushed back uh, the surgery process. And uh, if I could, I would have done that much earlier because I've heard that the earlier get it done, other organs you know, going bad, I, I used to do the exercise before 2003 because I would say uh, 2003 was the uh, break point in my life. I think, you know, I started driving truck uh, for a long distance over the road and that's where everything went, you know, not the way that I wanted. I was, I was playing sport, I was, I was doing that thing. I was a little more mobile and I, was, I could do a, a lot of things and I was always in motion, but started driving the truck. I've seen a lot of places, a lot of different lifestyle, but uh, on a personal basis, you're emotionless basically. And you start picking up the, uh, the weight and your eating habits are not as healthy as it used to be. Doing sports after a long, long day of work, you just wouldn't have the desire, not only chance. And you're scattered all over the country. And you do not know, you know where you can do whatever you wanted to do. The only thing is on the truck stops, so you get out there and try to work out. But uh, after, like I said, a long, long day of work, you wouldn't want to do that either. So you barely walk to the building for the shower and stuff like that. So yes, uh, I felt a drastic change, pretty drastic change after surgery. I wouldn't say it right away because it took me a few hours to understand what happened. <laughs> it's been it's been three months ever since the surgery. Now, like a couple of days ago, I've lost. Like I can tell you in kilos, I used to be 126 kilos, now I'm 100 and I keep on losing. But it, it, it kind of, you know, slows down a little bit. Of course, you can't lose the weight, you know, on the, on the, on the same, <clears throat> with the same pace until you hit the zero. <laughs> so to basically, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm counting on for another 10, 15 kilos to drop. That would be great. And uh, I, I, I started getting a feeling that I feel vivid and um, full of life. And, want to walk and I don't have any problem walking anymore. I don't get tired. I can, I can do it. And I, I, I spend up 
a longer time than I used to. Before, I used to sleep enough, but it wasn't enough. When I got up, you know, I used to be tired. I was getting up tired. Um, but at this time, you know, I, I feel, and overall, I can't, I can't tell in one thing, I, I, I became better in the, you know, overall, everything, everything, got, I, I can't, I can't think of thing, think of anything that got worse after a surgery. What I found, the way that I found you guys here is the internet. I was doing, you know, some research and after I, I, I made up my mind that uh, it cannot continue like this, we cannot continue raising the uh, dosage of the medications and the number of medication I was taking and finally get to the point where I have to switch to uh, the injecting insulin. So I don't want to be that dependent. I was already dependent. I had to see my doctor every three months. I, that was creating a lot of inconvenience for the work that I was doing at the time. And uh, being dependent on um, uh, the medications and uh, still feeling and still moving towards the uh, abyss. So uh, I, I decided to do something to take care because nobody would come up to you and say, hey, listen, you know, there is a solution for this problem. There is a, the way to get rid of it. Not only to, I mean, uh, to maintain a certain level of uh, sugar in your blood, but you can also get rid of it, you know, to finish, to put a stop to it. And uh, I finally found it. I found actually two or three different kinds of them over the internet. But as you know, a lot of scams out there as well, and I was skeptic about it. So I decided uh, I wanted just some time in the future, you know, I want to take a trip, walk around this building to see, you know, how serious these guys are. And uh, I came, the reason three months ago I came here wasn't uh, the surgery. I just wanted to see what's going on and, you know, how truthful that information over the internet was posted. And, uh, and I came over and ran into the people. I walked, literally walked into the building and I talked to some people and uh, I was so convinced and I got to the point where we spoke with the doctor. He said, you know, why don't we run uh, analysis, some uh, samples, you know, the blood test. And he said, you know, I'm the best candidate. You know, so my cardio is okay. You know, I'm not that, you know, tired, you know, because it's a little uh, stress for the heart as well. You know, you should be in a decent shape. So, um, and he said, everything is okay. I mean, if you're ready, we're ready. I said, well, you know what? Um, the way that I'm convinced, I am ready. So like I said, you know, we were not planning at the very beginning that I will be doing this surgery. So, but we came and uh, we went through this process. We got to the point where I made up my mind. I said, you know, why, why, not, why not? I mean, what other chance, you know, I have? So we, we did it and I'm very glad. And I should have done it much earlier without postponing it for two years. I don't even know how to say the life sustaining, to the life sustaining our, <clears throat> level because you know after surgery you feel weak you have to take a few things to uh, restore your abilities and everything so and uh, he said you know I have to take these medicines for three months so but I ran out of most of them way before that because I was overseas you know after a certain time you want to see that the, the changes in between before surgery and three months after surgery we, we just did and I've seen a lot improvement and they were surprised as well you know since the results were one of the best I was told and it really gave me a lot of you know uh, internal power <laughs> and then uh, I really want to do that either after six or nine months from now as well just to see you know how even better it got so uh, so I'm planning to come back here well others others I can tell others who's got the problem with diabetes too definitely Definitely, and uh, it's it's kind of you know um, I don't even know how to present this. Uh, the the, um, the people with the diabetes two that type two that I know personally, I will convince them because I'm the life sample. I can show everything, all that. They can they can touch me, they can talk to me, and I'll whatever the answer that I have through their questions, you know, I'll answer. But the, whoever I don't know, of course, and they have all the rights not to trust me. But please don't give up and just. Uh, put some time and uh, do some research. But do not, please do not um, confuse it with bariatric surgery because it's totally different thing. They may say, you know, oh, it's the same thing. You know, we do that, we do here, we do, you don't even have to travel halfway around the world, but it, it's worth and it's totally different. Bariatric part of it is very small part. Of it. But the other thing is like my glucose level was 10.7 
the unit of measurement is different in the United States and here. And uh, I can't tell what's in the United States because I've never converted them. That would be interesting. I would do it later. But uh, when I came here, the uh, blood samples showed that I had 10.7 here. And after surgery, after three months after surgery, I came here, we took the uh, blood test the other day. Uh, it dropped to 6.3, which, you know, I was like, you know, does it mean anything? You know, is it? Are you serious? That's great. They said, you know, and that, that, that's not the only thing. And it's not only about the diabetes, not only the, the sugar level in your blood. There was a cholesterol. There, it's a, about five or six different kind of, you know, the, the readings, they went way down. So, uh, not, not, unfortunately, I'm not a doctor. I don't know how to say them or, you know, to explain them, but they were surprised. Not only that, I had results in my hands. The only thing that I can understand is that the, the blood sugar, the levels, that's all, the cholesterol, uh, the unit of measurement, it doesn't really matter to me, but they said they went through that and they were like, you know, surprisingly looking at it, is that you? I said, I hope so. <laughs> the doctor who conducted the surgery, his name is uh, Dr. Alper Cilic. I'm a very happy person, just know him not only as a doctor, but on a personal basis now. And every time I see him, you know, it, it gives me like, you know, um, optimism and everything. And I really do respect him, uh, his job, because I believe there are only four or five uh, doctors conduct uh, su such a surgery in the world. And, uh, and I'm very happy to get to know one of them.